standing at 52 meters high, one for every week of the year, with a diameter of 365 meters, one for every day of the year, and with 12 masts, one for every month of the year, this is a monument to time. This being London's O2 Arena, which in the summer of 2017 is celebrating 10 years of private ownership under AEG. Abandoned after celebrations to welcome in the new millennium, this giant white 22-acre tent was rescued by the Sports and Entertainment Group, who saw its potential as a multi-pronged leisure offering. Unloved and criticised for being a shameful waste of taxpayers' money, the venue spent six years mostly vacant and without a clear purpose before AEG stepped in in 2007. People want to have a place that they can go to, that they can have good food and beverage, they can have good entertainment, they can have a, a drink you know, after the show. So I think we create that kind of a destination that people look for and have a complete night out. And the crowds are coming. In 2016, nine million people walked through these doors and bought 22,000 hot dogs, 85,000 portions of fries, 600,000 pints of beer, and 200,000 spirits with mixers. AEG has big plans to complement the nighttime attractions with daytime draws. It's currently building out a 200,000 plus square foot retail emporium, sporting a designer village outlet. Yet the UK capital has had a challenging start to the year, thanks to Brexit side effects and a spate of fatal attacks. At this time of heightened terrorism alert, security is a top priority. AEG's Miserandino says that security procedures are top of mind and continuously being revised. I think that is going to be part of our lives in the future, particularly for entertainment experiences. We need to make sure that people feel safe. You know, perception is reality. And he's confident in the city's persistent popularity. We believe in the London market. We believe in the UK and are not afraid to invest. Aside from eating, drinking and shopping, visitors can clamber onto the roof for a view of the city. From up here you can see Royal Victoria Docks, Canary Wharf in the city, and beneath our feet, Ed Sheeran, Take That, Celine Dion and Bruno Mars are just some of the names playing this summer to celebrate the 10 year anniversary. We recently put the Foo Fighters on sale, which sold out in moments, not minutes, moments. So we're pretty excited about the 10th anniversary celebration.